The economic fallout in New Mexico from the coronavirus pandemic is likely to wipe out between $2.1 billion and $3.9 billion in previously anticipated state government income by mid-2021. The rough forecast provides a baseline for discussion on rewriting the state budget during a special legislative session slated for mid-June that has implications for spending on everything from health care to public education. A memo from staff economists at three executive agencies and the legislature outlined two scenarios for the economic downturn and recovery. Both involve plummeting state revenues from personal income taxes and gross receipt taxes on sales and services, as well as faltering income from severance taxes and federal royalty payment on oil production that is focused in the Permian Basin of southeastern New Mexico. Four new confirmed cases of COVID-19 in eastern New Mexico are among an additional 153 new positive cases across the state on Wednesday. According to the New Mexico Department of Health, three new positive tests were returned for Curry County residents and one positive test was returned for a resident of Roosevelt County. The city of Portales, along with the Roosevelt County Community Development Corporation, is sponsoring a new local small business COVID-19 relief program to assist local businesses that have been negatively impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The program is funded through the Economic Development Gross Receipts Tax Collection by the city. The total grant funds available are $400,000 and awards will be based upon funds availability and business eligibility. This assistance is only intended to provide businesses with immediate short-term cash flow assistance for the days from March 17th to May 15th. Applications are available on the City of Portales' website. New Mexico's Public Education Department has partnered with Graduation Alliance to provide an extra layer of support for students and families who might be struggling with these changes during the ongoing pandemic. Graduation Alliance is an organization that provides academic and emotional support to help students realize their goals of earning a high school diploma. Students who choose to participate in the program will get an academic coach to work with them to answer questions, connect them with resources, and develop a plan to get on track and finish the school year strong. Graduation Alliance is reaching out to students through phone calls, emails, text messages, and more to get students started. This program is completely free and students can simply call 505-340-3250 or email engagednewmexico at graduationalliance.com to get started. The city of Clovis is seeking applications for four area residents to serve on the Clovis Carver Public Library Board. The board meets quarterly on the last Monday of the month at 5.30 p.m. at the Clovis Carver Library. For more information or to obtain an application form, please contact the city manager's office at 575-769-7828. Hereford City officials have announced five new cases of COVID-19, bringing the case count to 46 with 11 recoveries in Depp Smith County. The mobile test clinic will be at Hereford Sports and Wellness tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. To register for a test, please call 512-883-2400 or visit www.texascovidtest.org. The Clovis Economic Development and the Clovis Curry County Chamber of Commerce's Business Recovery Task Force has launched two important initiatives in their effort to support local businesses through the current crisis. First, the task force is in the process of distributing a hashtag Keep Clovis Strong checklist poster for businesses to display the standards they've implemented under the New Mexico Department of Health and CDC guidelines. By hanging the poster, businesses can clearly show the standards they have implemented as well as the ways in which they have adapted to serve the public. Additionally, the task force has organized a statewide call-a-thon urging community members to take action and reinforce the message of local political leaders. Participants are encouraged to call the offices of the governor and lieutenant governor this Friday, May 8th, to express the gravity of the current situation. The Roosevelt County Road Department will begin work on South Roosevelt Road P from South Roosevelt Road 11 to South Roosevelt Road 13 on Monday, May 11th. This project is expected to be completed by Thursday, June 30th with weather permitting. This road is being enhanced to Caliche from dirt as part of a local government road fund grant and is part of the five-year Roosevelt County Road Plan. When Clovis High School hosts its home cross-country meet on August 28th, Elizabeth Hita Ledesma will be leading the Clovis High School Wildcats. 
Coach Hita Ledesma will assume her first head high school coaching position after spending last season as a cross-country assistant coach. She attended Marshall Middle School, formerly Marshall Junior High School, where she was a three-sport athlete and graduated from Clovis High School in 2001. Following graduation, Elizabeth attended Fort Lewis College in Colorado and was a member of the cross-country team. She earned a bachelor's degree in business accounting from the University of Phoenix and eventually completed her master's in education from Wayland Baptist University.